Fash Gabbers, my 31 Fash Gabbers. I love you so much. Today, we are not going to shake. Today, we are going to do this beautiful look I have right here. It is definitely spring. The spring look, a spring inspired look today. So, just keep watching. Just keep watching, just keep watching, and we will do this thing. Okay, so we're going to start off this look. I look ridiculous. Sorry, I can't stop looking at how like ridiculous I look with one eye done and one eye not done. <laughs> we're going to start this look off with priming our eyes. So, I'm going to take... It's a brand new cleaned. It looks dirty, but that's because I've used it already. A clean uh, little beauty sponge here. This is by Real Techniques. And my wonderful shadow insurance by Too Faced. Because I'm Too Faced. That's right. That's why, that's why nobody likes me. Just kidding. Everybody loves me. A little bit and then I'm gonna pat it on the eyeball I think I might actually have an allergy to makeup because I notice that when I have full face makeup like this I am constantly like do you guys notice that in my videos I'm always so I must have an allergy like to something Sometimes I does it, sometimes I don't, but I don't know. It's weird. Okay, enough about that. So, we are now going to take a eyebrow pencil of your choice. And I'm going to brush the eyebrow. Just brush it like so. Yes, see? Give it some shape. Because these brows are I need to get, go to Ulta and get my brows done so badly. They look like caca. Okay, so the way I do my brows is the way I do my brows. I'll show you. So I have like tons of bald spots everywhere. And I go in little short strokes right underneath. Kind of making a... Almost like making a line underneath. Right under that arch. The little teeny tiny arch that I have. And so now that I did that, I just go in and fill her in. Fill her in with really teeny tiny strokes. But... At the end of my eyebrow, because it's very, very, sh like, a short, I have, a, like, it stops, like, right here when it should stop, like, right there. So, I normally kind of, <laughs> I kind of did that hard. I didn't mean to do it that hard. <laughs> so, oh, what was I saying? So, yes, so I kind of go out like so and then after I'm done with the pencil I just want to set them so that they don't go all over the stinking place so I'm using NYX's scented brow gel or brow mascara and it's in black it looks very brown, like a very dark brown. You can't really tell. And my eyebrows badly need to be bleached again, too. Okay. So, we've got a primed eye and an eyebrow. Now what should we do? I know. ba da 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 Bust out the shadows. We're going to be using this ColourPop palette right here. 
and it is beautiful that has beautiful colors very springtime yes and we're also going to be using a pigment and some other stuff i'll have everything listed below and if you're new to my channel welcome and subscribe right now because you want to be part of the fash gab family and all my subscribers out there, you gotta tell tell everybody how wonderful I am and get them to subscribe too because, you know, I like cool. I really am. I'm like the coolest. So, now that we've established that I'm super cool, I am actually going to take a MAC um, fluid line. And this is in the color macro violet it's like a purpley purpley color and i'm gonna actually use this as a base as a base because i'm all about that base about that base no wait a minute i'm not gonna do that i forgot to highlight my brow so i'm just gonna run this right underneath And then take a flat stiff brush, like a small shader brush. Where are you at? Right here. Clean you off. Don't shake the table. And then just blend it down. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> Now it looks much more crisp. Okay, so we're going to take a stiff eyeshadow brush, like to pack on color, a brush that packs on color. So something like these, flat, not too stiff, but stiff enough. And we're going to dip it right into that fluid line. get a little good amount there and we're gonna pat this just on the lid just on the lid and this is going to hold the shadow on our eyes like glue Yes, you can use gel liners as base. Didn't you all know that? I'm sure you did. Okay, now that that is that, I'm going to be doing things kind of differently today. It's not a cut crease, but I did it kind of like how you would do a cut crease, and I will show you momentarily but first let's get a fluffy dome brush it's a nice blending brush something that blends miraculously i have some new sigma brushes on their way so i'm excited about that because i need i need some better better brushes so you're going to take this brush and the first color we are going to get and this is color by ColourPop, and it's called the Element of Surprise. Dun dun dun! And I am going in with this color right here, which is called Rayon. It's R A Y O N. Rayon. Oh no 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 no! I'm sorry. It's Labyrinth. <laughs> I love that movie. You remind me of the baby. What baby? Baby with the power. What power? The power of boo doo hoo do You do do. What remind me of the babe? <laughs> oh, I miss David Bowie. And we're just going to put this all up in the rest. Fill this whole area under the brow, right above, in the crease. And this is kind of, kind of act as a, mm, I wouldn't say it's a transition shade, kind of a transition shade. But we're going to be going in with 
back and forth with a few colors actually so and then I went in with this color right here which is go with the flow <laughs> go with the flow I always go with the flow and I'm flowing all the time sometimes I flow so much I need flow max <laughs> No, I don't. And then we're going to put this in the grease. Doing those windshield wiper motions. Like I have shown you before. And this is more of a trans transition shade. You always want to go from the lightest colors to the darkest colors last. And then kind of go back and forth, back and forth. So the next color I am going in with would, oh, that's right. Actually, we're going to need a different brush for this. So take a small, the one where I blended my um, brow, like a really tiny um, shader brush. Make sure you clean it off first. So I'll clean that off. And I'm going in with this burgundy-ish color right here, Peace of Mind, is what it's called. And this is kind of how you would do a cut crease, but I didn't keep it a cut crease. Just put some shadow, like, on the very top, and we're going to flip it upside down, like, like so, and you're going to go from, like, little upward motions, and you want most of the color when you start blending up, because you're going to take that and you're going to start blending up, you want the highest point on the outside right here, like right in this area. So it goes from like kind of small and higher and higher, higher and higher. And when you so this is kind of like doing a cut crease. But we're going to be blending in and other colors and all that. So this is just a different technique that I learned by Marlena Makeup Geek. Thank you, Marlena. And I really like this technique because it's just, it's a cool way of packing on color when you want like vibrant colors that you wouldn't normally like just put like in a windshield like you know in that kind of U shape that we always do this kind of like almost does like an ombre effect because you go on top with other shadows so it's kind of like an ombre eye ombre eye sounds like one word ombre eye hey ombre eye how you doing today, Ombre Eye? <laughs> okay, so now we are going to take our blendy brush again. Where'd you go? It's right here. <laughs> I'm like, where'd you go, dude? And go back in with um, the last one we used. Go with the flow. So take some glow, go with glow, go with the flow, and we're gonna go like right on top of it, and that's gonna soften that. So you want to soften this, and you can even kind of do some swigglies to bring that corner up. But isn't that pretty? 
these colors go really well together. And then I love the, the pop of pink right on the lower lid. I think I might add a little bit more on the other side. I think I need more pink, more pink. And daylight savings time is coming up, people. It's on the 11th. I only know that because my mom told me last night when I was talking to her on the phone. So now I'll go back in with the color Labyrinth. Put this on the t above that, right above that crease color blend 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 now we're gonna go back in with that stiff brush and we're gonna tap on a little bit more of the um which one was it the rayon 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 Rayon. <laughs> I sound like my dad. R and P. R I P dad. Sorry. My dad passed away almost two years ago. It'll be two years um in March. And I'm just kinda like putting this only in the crease, like I'm kind of doing that windshield wiper, and now I'm going to blend up again. And I want to get this color to get higher, higher and higher and higher. Lowest to high. See how on this eye, how it goes. So that's what we're going for. That's what we're going for, peeps. So I think that is good right about there. Yes. And now we're going to drop, just drop any brush you want to drop. <laughs> oh no, I can't find it, no! I'll be back momentarily, I need to find my brush. So I just spent like 20 minutes looking for that stupid brush. <laughs> it fell on the table. <laughs> yeah, that's me! Do stuff like that all the time. So let's get back to work. <laughs> what did I do with the pal? I am just off my game today. I've had either too much coffee or not enough. Sheesh. Okay. So where were we? Yes. So we just put the rayon on and then we're then we went back with go with the flow right that's what we did let's just grab a little more go with the flow because i want to go with the flow and get this video done because i feel bad that you people have to watch this long video okay all right i know what i was gonna do we're gonna take a stiff eyeshadow brush for packing on color and we're going to take this color right down here which is sea stars and we're going to pack this on the lid these are this is my first time using color pop shadows surprisingly and I'm finding they are very, very rich, creamy shadows. There's a lot of fallout in the palette. I haven't gotten much fallout on my face, which is good. But I definitely like, it. like, it's butter. 
they're buttery. So just pack this all on the lid. The sea, the sea star, 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 sea, what is it? Sea stars. Sounds like sisters, sea stars. It's S-E-A stars. Like Patrick. Okay. So now I have that color on the lid. Now take a smaller um, dome brush. Maybe a little bit more of a, like a little bit more stiff, like more more of a coarse, smaller brush like this, because we're going to do the like outer V area or outer C. And you're, some people call it outer V, some people call it outer C, some people call it outer corner. And we're going to go in with late night, which is this dark burgundy purplish color. And we're going to put this in the outer, outer corner area, outer V, outer C, outer space. That's where I'm from, outer space. <laughs> and when it goes on, it's like this really, like, pink, there's like an, a pink undertow to undertow. <laughs> there's a pink undertone to it and it's really really a beautiful color i really love having this on the out outside um on the eye like this on the outer v area it's it's really pretty okay so now get a big fluffy dome brush like this one right here is big and soft and just kind of Get in there, blend away, blend away, blend, blend, blend. You can do some circles out at the, the edge here if you want to bring that color up. But we're going to just blend the crazy. And now we can highlight the under the brow. So I'm going to take just a little teeny tiny shader brush and I'm going down with this one right here this one whoa this is rayon so what was I calling Ray? I was calling that rayon this is late night rayon whoa I'm so lost okay this color here right here the very top one Right above Labyrinth. And we're going to put this right underneath the eyebrow. I'm like so lost. So just on the outer part of the brow. And blend it in. And then you can pick up that blending brush we just used and Blend, 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 blend. There we go. Beautiful. Now we are going to go in with a pigment. Yay, a pigment. And that's why it's really good to have a cream base on when you go in with pigment. So I'm going to be using a MAC pigment. And it's one of the little minis I got with a, a it was a Christmas set. And this is in... Kitchmas. That's cute. So, I am going to take that small little stiff brush. Where'd you go? My little stiff brush. Little, little brush. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you be at? Is this it? Nope. Sorry, I'm so just not organized today and like I'm all up in your face and <laughs> I'm such a nuthead. No, really, where did the brush go?
okay, forget it. Let's just go ahead and take the shader brush. Any shader brush will do. When I did the other eye, I used a smaller brush. So, because it was easier to go in with. Maybe that was the one I dropped. Now pick some pigment up, like pick it up, like literally, <laughs> dump it into the lid carefully, and then press down and kind of swirl it, and it's going to get stuck to that brush, and then just pat it on the inner part of the eye stopping like a quarter of the way in not exactly half of the eye but almost half of the eye I guess it's half of the eye and pack that in there we're almost done we're almost done I promise so do you see how it, and you, how it, you want to have it kind of, like, blending into the, um, outside color. So, take the rest that's in there. Just because you want to use it, you don't want to waste any. And just go on top. And this just goes right in this little, you know, really focus on the more inner part of the eye with this pigment. Kitsch must, that's cute. Ugh. Pigment in my eye. Okay. Now that we have got that completed. Wipe off any excess little little fallout. Just a little bit of fallout. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. And we're going to take a flat kind of a flat angled brush. Wow, I am so not doing very well today. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So we're taking a brush like this, and we're grabbing that palette again, and we're going to go in with the brightest pink color right there in the center. And this one is called Subdue. I like that. And so just put right on the end of that brush there, tap off any excess, and you can just boom right under the lower lash line. Boom. And it gives you a nice pop of color. Beautiful. Okay, did I want to put more over here? Maybe a little bit. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I'm going to take a little teeny tiny brush. And we're going in with, yeah, let's use this pencil brush here and clean her off. Okay, and we're going to go in with this one here that I accidentally said was a different color. So, this is rayon. How do I, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> it's like, it's like the names on the back switched on me or something. I'm like... Wait a minute, wasn't the other color that name? You just want to put this right here in the center of the eye. 
like so. So we have a little bit of highlight in there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some gel liner and I'm just going to do like it is on this side. I didn't wing it out or anything crazy. So just throw on some black, like a nice thin layer of eyeliner and I will be back. Okay, we're almost done. Let's do the lips. So I am going in with a lip liner. And this is by, it says, Italia Deluxe. They're literally, I bought just a set of lip liners off of Amazon. Pretty good, actually. I, I like them. And start at the bottom. I always start with the bottom middle. I mean, you can start wherever you want. And if you want to overdraw, you can overdraw on your guys to see. My light keeps turning off. I think the battery's dying. And then you want to do the Cupid's bow. This little V here. All the way down. Okie doke. I'm so sorry this video is so long. So, I had got the big NYX lip set that they had like a while back. And it's this little mini one. And it is a soft matte lip cream. And these are the best. These, the NYX um, lip creams. Oh my lord. I love them. Obsessed. Alrighty. And that. <laughs> Alrighty. And that is all. We are done. Oh, we did it. We made it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you made it through the whole entire video. This is a long one. And please like, give me thumbs ups, and subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe now. Do it now. Say subscribe. And we will have fun like this tomorrow. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching my Fash Gabbies. I love you. Bye.